Well, I think we can all agree that uh, things are getting a little bit rough for the end time speculator. And uh, that's because, you know, we're into the um, 72nd year of Israel's, uh, modern Israel's nationhood. Israel's been been uh, established since 1948 now, which means they're 71 and they're heading towards 72. Um, we're past the spring time, really. We're getting into June, so no rapture. Uh, people are starting to get a little bit uh, dis disappointed and, and, and really starting to question these guys big time. You can see it. <clears throat> you can see it in their, their numbers. J.D. Farag now gets about um, 100,000 views per video each week. You know, he's at 84,000 here on a Tuesday on a holiday weekend. He usually hits 100,000, but he's been at 100,000 views for over a year now. He hasn't grown his viewership at all. And I think it's kind of the writing is on the wall. These guys are starting to, their, their message is starting to wear thin. And, you know, they're doing it to themselves. So you can see JD coming out with a video like this. It makes a lot of sense. He's trying to kind of pull together now, you know, hey, guys, come on, let's go get on the same page here. There's lots of things happening that show that the end of the, the, the end of the world is nigh and you can't deny it. You know, here's 10 things. At the beginning of this video, he says, this is my opinion. This is my opinion, which is really interesting because he never says that at the beginning of his videos. He always talks in his videos like, this ain't just my opinion, guys. This is just the absolute truth from the word of God right now that I'm bringing to you. <clears throat> but he was very careful to say that this is his opinion, the top 10 signs of the end. Very interesting. Not sure what to make of that. I think he's starting to look for his backtrack overall over the next few years that he can sort of shuffle away from all of this, you know, cause you know, he's had a very long run here of 12 years. He's got a lot of people that watch him a year ago when, when the May 14th, 2018 came and went 70th uh, anniversary of Israel statehood came and went and nothing happened. You know, he put out three or four videos about rapture fatigue and, you know, it's been another whole year since then. And people are probably starting to show signs of serious fatigue. So here he is. He's doing these top 10. I'm going to address a few of these. The first one is this earthquakes. Um, you know, he's making the usual same old, same old claim that, you know, more earthquakes means the end is near. So let's listen to what he has to say. And Jesus' answer is this. Watch out that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, claiming, I am the Messiah, and will deceive many. Then he says, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. That can be better understood as wars and threats of wars. But see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And then he says this, there will be famines and earthquakes in various places, and all these are the beginning of birth pain. So what Jesus is doing in answering the question that disciples ask is, he's likening his return to the birth of a baby. And okay, so, so, so no, he is not likening his return to the birth of a baby. He is not doing that at all. He didn't say that. Um, I see how he, J.D. gets there with this. He, he claims that just because Jesus says that some of this, these things happening around them in, in their day uh, looked bad, like wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes and famines and pestilence. And, um, you know, just because those things looked bad, um, I think it was really trying to reassure them that, you know, you're going to see these things, but th that doesn't mean that the end is near. Here's one, here's one example in Luke 21. He says, when you hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. By and by means not near. Why would Jesus say that? And he says, nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Great earthquakes in different places, famines and pestilences. You notice how J.D. and these guys, they never talk about famines and pestilences the way they talk about earthquakes. Earthquakes are always the sign, you know, because they're pretty regular. 
um, fearful sights and great signs from, from heaven. You know, there were people that were talking about, you know, the blood moons and the and the Revelation 12 sign and whatever, and, and the, the great American eclipse. You guys, if you're honest, those are not fearful sights. Nobody was afraid of those things. They got out in their front yards and and looked at the at the eclipse in America. Everybody was excited about it. They went. People traveled for hundreds of miles to look at it. It wasn't a fearful sight. The moon turning an orange color is not fearful. We know exactly what that is. Every time it happens, we're like, "Ooh, I hope I can see it from where I live. I hope it's not too cloudy." I mean, these are not fearful sights, you guys. Where are these fearful sights and signs? Great signs from heaven. I, I don't see any of that. JD never talks about any of that. So, so no, Jesus was more likely saying, "Here's what here's what the the prominent dispensationalist uh, Schofield, C.I. Schofield, wrote in his notes. He said that verses four through um, fourteen of chapter twenty four were the course of this age. In other words, C.I. Schofield interpreted all this as Jesus is simply saying, look, guys, it's going to be like this normally. This is just kind of a normal course of things. It's not the end. These are just the beginning of birth pains. Sounds like an expression to me where, you know, women kind of start to feel like they're going into labor. And sometimes they have those Braxton Hicks contractions that aren't really contractions. They're beginning. The body is getting ready to go into labor. And it's like, this is not it, man. This is not the end at all. It's just kind of a, sim, a, a sign that things aren't good in this world. That's a far more likely explanation for this. Because you know why, guys? None of this helps at all. He, he's going to start talking about earthquakes here. And you're going to see, I'll, I'll, I'll point out how this, this doesn't work. It, it's not a sign when Jesus just says, well, there's going to be earthquakes all over the place. But that describes every single year there's earthquakes all over the place. He didn't say how many. J.D. seems to think, you know, he meant there would be greater and greater because it's birth pains. They get greater and more intense. He's interpreting that. And anyway, he can't answer the question that's very simple that I would ask him. And, and that is this, J.D., how intense? How many earthquakes are we supposed to see by the end? Do you, do you know a number? How intense are they supposed to be by the end? Does he know that number? Did Jesus give us any kind of comparative matrix to go by? More earthquakes as compared to what, J.D.? A thousand years ago? Two thousand years ago? The time of Christ? Or what are we comparing it to? We've only been keeping records since 1900. And they were pretty pretty thin records in 1900. We didn't have the technology that we've developed in the last 20 years. So we don't have any idea how many earthquakes were going on in the world a thousand years ago, a hundred years ago. We just don't have any clue. What are we comparing it to? So, and not, not only that, who cares? How many earthquakes are we supposed to see right before we're rapture? I, I just want give me somebody give me an estimate. If we get about 15 really big earthquakes a year, how many really big earthquakes a year should we see? 30? That's twice as many. That's a lot. Well, what if it's not that? What if it's what if it's 150 a year? What if it's one every day? <laughs> Nobody seems to know this number. It's just this elusive. Hey, guys, you got to keep the hype train rolling. So I'm just going to use this nonsense thing that makes nothing, that doesn't do anything for anybody. This is like saying, uh, my wife is pregnant. I have no idea when she's going to give birth. It could be next year. It could be 100 years from now. But whenever I see her having some contractions, I'm going to immediately point to it and say, must be near. But it, we still think it could be 100 years before she gives birth. I mean, that's the kind of stuff he's saying here. And how that preceding the, the coming of the baby, preceding the coming of the Lord, there's going to be these birth pains. Again, he never and said birth that. pains will come in greater frequency never said that. and greater intensity. Now, you know, you know, just stop, stop, stop reading into the Bible. Just take what Jesus said and that's all. Stop adding to what he said. He didn't say my coming is like a birth of a baby. J.D., he's using one comparison to a birth here. One. These are the beginning of birth pains, the beginning of sorrows. That's it. He didn't say, and these sorrows are going to continue until I come. It's just you're just you're adding to the God's holy word, JD. Do you know what it says about doing that? Did Jesus say those words? Yes or no? No. 
He never said those words. Stop putting words in the Lord's mouth and then banking on them with your whole ministry. Like, well, this is only my opinion, but I'll be glad to take 150,000 followers over it. It's only my opinion, though. As we know now in recorded history, just with earthquakes alone. Wait, wait, listen to what he says here. It's just absolutely ridiculous. It's so ignorant. In greater frequency and greater intensity. Now, as we know now in recorded history, just with earthquakes alone, great earthquakes, earthquakes registering higher than six, even seven on the magnitude uh, scale, they have increased incredibly. As we know now in recorded history, how long is recorded history? Thousands of years. And he's trying to tell us that we've had recorded history of every earthquake on the planet for all of recorded history. Where, where are these numbers? I want to see them. No, we do not have those numbers. We have been recording earthquakes for about 119 years, since about 1900. That's all the longer we've had the necessary equipment and the worldwide infrastructure to do it. And it wasn't really world. We did not have any sensors in the middle of the Pacific Ocean 100 years ago recording earthquakes that happened out there. Okay? That's just a fact. So the guy likes to just twist. He doesn't not only likes to add words to the Lord's mouth, he also likes to just twist history and twist facts because he's just counting on people that they'll never check him out. And I'm not trying to belabor silly points, but this entire ministry is built on these lies and half-truths and misinformation. I think the best I ever saw was, uh, it's actually a documentary by, um, uh, oh, his name escapes me off the top of my head, it's called The Coming Convergence, and they took the USGS data, and they spent uh, several months with it, he told me. Uh, Brent uh, Williams, I think is his name. And uh, they took that data, and they compiled it and graphed it, and it's like this. So you look at this graph. It's like this. Earthquakes. Okay, listen to me. We have access to all of this data. You and I, we all have access to it. The USGS has a website where you can go on there and download all the data you want. All the data you want. It doesn't take any special anything to crunch numbers. I did it. This is, this is just so ridiculous. that I don't know where the guy got his numbers from, but he's manipulating them. Here, here's what I found. I, I took a few decades from the 1950s through the 90s, and then I went year by year all the way through the 2000s. Whoops. So you can see... Down here, 1950, 1957, 1967, 77, all the way up to the 2000s. And here's the last 16 years. Do you guys see a pattern like he's talking about? This is 6.0 and above earthquakes from the USGS website. Do you see a pattern of it going up? Yes or no? I sure don't. You, 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 doubt, my, you doubt my figures? Okay. USGS. Here's the USGS uh, website. Let me make sure I can get this in here. USGS.gov, guys. All right. Worldwide earthquakes for the last 20, almost 20 years now. Whoops. Man, you guys, this is so easy to find. It's just, come on. All right. So here we are. Um, magnitude eight and eight and above all the way down to five. Right. There, you know, one, one in 2000, one in 2001, zero, one, two, one, two, four, zero. Oh, wow, it looked like a spike there. Well, whoops, it dropped to zero. One, one. Um, sorry, this just doesn't, doesn't, this doesn't work as, as great as I would like. Um, so on and so forth, zero in 2008, two, okay, all the way up to 2018. So almost 20 years span here. I don't see any pattern of anybody, anything going up. Here's the sevens, you know, 14 and 03, 14 and 04, 10 and 05, 9. Eh, boring. Wow, we had a big spike of sevens in 2010, 23, but then we're down to 12 and 11 a few years later. See, guys, there's no pattern. I don't know where these people get their data. They just make it up. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, they just make it up. Here's, here's the decade of the 90s. Ready? Zeros and twos, one, zero, one, zero. Same as, same as now. All right? Go look at this stuff. Here's the sevens. Um, what were we? Nines, fourteens, a nineteen here and there. 
What do we have? 18, 16. This is exactly the same. It's just... Uh, it doesn't matter what you... I mean, look, so here's my point. Here's my final point I'll make on this. I, I'll, I'm going to repeat myself again. How do you guys know, how does JD know that we are reaching the pinnacle? Let's say all of my numbers here are wrong, and these really should be, you know, here, I'll just I'll just change numbers. Let's say, you know, we go from here to, to here, to here, to here, to, you know, here, to here, to here. I'm just, I'm just making up numbers, right? Oops, made a 24 in there, you know. Okay, let's say this is what JD fantasizes is going on. <laughs> and so here we are in 2016, we get to that. In 2017, we get to that. In 2018, okay. So I'll just keep this going. I'll keep going down. I'll make my chart. I'll make my chart here. Let's take this. I know I'm belaboring this point, but it, it it's just, this is so, so here, here we are in uh, 20, um, you know, 20, uh, 18, 2019. Let's say we have a big spike to 320. Like, ooh, look at that spike, you know, right? So where does this spike end? Where do, where do we have to get to? How do you know we're not at the very beginning? And this is going to end up being like this someday. In 100 years. How do you know? How do you know? Stop getting up and behind a pulpit using God's word and his name and throwing around crap like this. And then acting like this is all part of the Bible. It's just, it's just fluff and hype. And nothingness. This is not the Bible. This is one guy's raving, lunacy, disdelusional fantasies. And he's using the pulpit to, to talk about his hobby and get attention. That's what's going on here. How do you know this doesn't going to take a thousand years to get to 3,000? If, that's if he's even correct about the pattern, which he's not. I've already shown you he's not correct about the pattern. And furthermore, how do you know this doesn't go up like this and then go down again? We're going to go down a slope for a while. I mean, we're just going kind of up and down like waves for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. How do you know? So, you know, Jesus was not saying that. Jesus doesn't speak nonsense, J.D. You speak nonsense, but he doesn't. He doesn't give us information that doesn't help us. And your claims of what he's saying there make my Lord a fool. And I don't like hearing that. That's why I'm calling you out. Stop making up stuff. Stop putting words in my Lord's mouth. Do you understand me? Get back to doing your job that you were hired to do. You were not called to be a watchman. There is not one single shred of biblical support for a Christian to stand behind a pulpit and make the claim that God told him to speculate about what's going on in the news. There is not one directive like that. You do not have the right under the authority of God to open up the newspaper or get on the internet and speculate about what it means for the future. That's not a gift of the Spirit. It does nothing but cause people to lose their hope. You should see the people that are talking today on the internet. Are, are you? Do you get on the internet, sir, and actually watch people that follow you? You should hear what they're saying. They're so depressed they can't even stand it because you keep leading them down this path dangling the rapture carrot in front of their face and using your authority that God gave you behind that pulpit to lead them down this path. You are tickling their ears and they're going to be disappointed. And woe be unto you when this all blows up eventually. So I'm just telling you, you guys need to, all I need to do is worry about one aspect of this guy's so-called top 10 things, earthquakes. And I just destroyed the whole thing. He has nothing to say about it. He has no answer for that. J.D., if you have an answer, tell me how many earthquakes per year we should see right before the rapture happens. Give me a number. He will not answer that. He cannot answer that. So the rest of this is all B.S., and I will call it what it is. I dare you to answer me, J.D. I dare you to listen to the videos that I'm making and, and, and in your own mind, you know, answer these questions or step down. Stop using the Bible as your plaything. You have no right to do that. All right, so hopefully this has helped. 
I may or may not be back with more later. There is so much nonsense in this latest prophecy update. I, I might make hundreds of hours of videos. He's so full of utter nonsense, you guys. It's just, just unbelievable. Test what this man says, please. Go into each of these 10 and go to the Bible yourself and read it. Does it really say what he's claiming? Does it really say that? Or is he making up stuff? He's making it up. Trust me. Go look for yourself.